What's going on guys, this is Alec here and welcome back to episode number 3 of my Swansea City career mode. I firstly want to just kick this off by saying a massive sorry. I know I haven't uploaded this in like 2 months. Um, I'm going to be straight to the point. I just haven't really enjoyed career mode this year on FIFA. Um, at least not lately anyway. Um, I I'm starting to get back into it more now. I've played a couple of games, you know, it's getting a little bit better but... From the first couple of games, it's just the it seems the same as last year. It wasn't really competitive when you're playing the games. Um, this game was very competitive, um, but you'll see um, from the last two episodes, they weren't really that hard games. But um, I've upped a couple of the sliders and stuff. I've, I've upped it a little bit, and I'm going to get back into things. Obviously, seeing Swans in real life as well has kind of spurred me on to play a lot more games. Um, they're in good form. Seventh in the league by the time I'm recording this. I could be wrong on that one, actually. But... Um, they're doing well. Um, yes, yeah, so getting back into things. Here's the Swansea City team playing away at Plymouth Argyle in the Carabao Cup. As you can see, we've got a couple of youngsters in. Uh, we signed Zinchenko last episode. Uh, and Padu maybe in last episode of the one before. A couple of starts. Well, a lot of starts for players that wouldn't usually get into the team. Um, just to rotate in these cup games. I do want to stay in the cup because I think the cups are a really good chance to rotate. Uh, around like I said, but um, we try and head that one back to Erwin Mulder who starts this game Unfortunately goes out for a corner and Fox is going to take the corner It's a good ball in onto the head of Edwards and we're 1-0 down within 10 minutes um, By the way, I do just want to go while the game's playing on in the background I do just want a, a quick apology as, as I said at the start of the video um, I haven't uploaded in a while um, I, I went through a house move as well, so moved house in the process, um, everything down to, to my dad's house, and it's just kind of slowed the process up of the videos. Um, in between that, mixed with, like, career was not really captured me um, this year. You know, I, I don't get home from work and have a, a burning desire to play career mode but um ultimate team i'm enjoying and i played these couple of episodes i'm not sure why i put that in the video <laughs> that was a bad miss um ultimate team i'm really enjoying this year i've played a good few games on there so i don't know whether you guys would want to see weekend league rewards i did bad last week i only had gold one but i've been finishing um gold one and gold uh gold one and gold two elite one and elite two a lot this year um so there's that for any new people on the channel, I'm sorry I've rambled on over the first couple of minutes of this video. Just I haven't uploaded in two months, so I, I do just want to say a big, big sorry for those that did like the series. I've still been receiving lots and lots of comments on the first and second episode, so hopefully it won't have been too much of a wait for a lot of you for this third episode to come. But for those that have waited a while, um, I'm sorry. So... 1-1, one, one, burst on Selena uh, on his first start for us this season. A nice little chip there. It just skims past the keeper's head uh, and manages to go in. Just before half-time now, Nathan Dyer gets the ball on the right-hand side. He uh, gets tackled by his defender, but it's then won back by Kyle Norton. He looks inside to Jay Fulton, who passes it into Selena, who's made a good bit of space there. Selena's passed it to Nathan Dyer out on the right-hand side. He comes back into Selena, back into Barry Mackay, and we're 2-1 just before half-time. And that was a really work, well-worked move. Uh, I didn't mean to do that dab, by the way, for the both of them there. Should be ashamed of themselves. Um, I think that's Barry Mackay's standard celebration for some reason. Like I said... I didn't mean to die, it won't happen in the future again. But nice bit of team football there. Burst and Selena's first time pass into Mackay, who then leads into the first time finish. He just frees himself a bit of space from his defender. Keeper, not the best, but what would you expect at Plymouth's level? They're not going to be the most technically gifted player players um, on the keeper there. Probably should have saved that, but like I said, it's League 2 uh, Plymouth in. But Wilfred Borney gets released here. He hits the crossbar. Definitely should be finishing that. And I mean, this game... Um, as I said earlier, I think I said earlier, you know, these games are a good chance for players to establish themselves in the Carabao One Cup. You know, players that wouldn't usually start as Ryan Taylor gets played through. Great strike, and he makes it 2 2, 55th minute, just as Wilfred Borney misses that really good chance. Uh, it's a great finish by Taylor. I'm not sure what the defence was doing. Um, played a really poor line, it was a good ball through, and uh, we get punished on the counter attack by Plymouth, uh, as you'll see this replay here. But like I said earlier, you know, team contention is key for these games in the Carabao Cup. I bring players in that don't usually play. And at the moment, I'm starting, uh, I'm starting Ollie McBurney in the league games. If Wilfred Boney's going to be missing chances like that, then there's no reason why I should put him back into the first team. So this is a chance for players to prove their worth. But the ball comes in here. Wilfred Boney, who does get a good shot on this time. And for where the keeper missed earlier for the second goal, 
he's definitely made up for it there on that one. If you see, it's a great connection by Wilfred Bonny, and the keeper just sort of flings himself in that direction, but that's enough. And as you can see here, Plymouth are on the attack in the 62nd minute. They've got the ball through to Lemiras. Lemiras takes a shot, it comes off the post, and luckily Carter Vickers was able to get it away out of danger. Now then, Matt Grimes on the ball, he puts a ball into the box. Wilfred Bonny headers, but it's into the hands of Macy, who I believe is either transferred or on loan from Arsenal. Could get that one wrong. Um, here's Wayne Rutledge on the ball. He came on as a sub. Kyle Norton gets the ball here. Across into Wilfred Boney, who definitely won't miss that one. Um, he's missed a fair few chances in this game, but that won't be one of them. Wilfred Boney, he's obviously really strong in the air, so that's something we will try and use throughout the season. Um, 81st minute, surely we can hold on uh, for this game now. But it's a good ball in from Kyle Norton. And uh, yeah, Wilfred Boney, he's kind of uncontested in the box there. And good finish from him past the goalkeeper maybe I should have gone the other way just into this near post but it's gone in so it doesn't really matter so 3-2 81st minute can we get another one to kill the game off here's Jay Fulton into Boney Boney plays it into Wayne Routledge Wayne Routledge 1-on-1 -on -one, and it's a good finish from him into that far corner it's 88th minute it's 4-2 we score in front of the Swans fans and we'll take that every day um, again another questionable uh, celebration there. You can see Dan James came on in the second half. I'll be trying to use him a lot more this season, Dan James. Uh, try and get his overall up. But good play from Wilfred Boney. And Wilf um, yeah, Wayne Routledge turns to the defender and uh, you always back him to finish past the keeper there. Good finish into that left-hand corner. Or right-hand corner if you're looking from the keeper's side. 4-2 and that's surely game over in the Carabao Cup. Looking like we'll progress on to the next round. But Plymouth will get an attack here late on into the game as Carey gets the ball. He's tackled well, but then somehow that goes in near post. And like I said earlier about keeping you know, players' places in teams, I feel like Mulder should be dealing with that. As you can see, he's in a lot of space over there. We try and get a tackle in, which Ampadu does well. Um, but yeah, I think that's got to be saved by the goalkeeper at the near post. It's not even that hard of a shot either. Um, you should be parrying that one out for a corner. But as you'll see from this little sequence here, we managed to retain the victory. 4-3, really entertaining game. So while I was complaining about not entertaining games at the start of this episode, this was an entertaining game up against Plymouth away in the Cup. And uh, yeah, as I said, we'll progress through into the next round. Um, goals from Selina Mackay, Boney and then Wayne Routledge to get the winner. Uh, we'll take him. So that g gets us on nicely to uh, progress into the next round. Um, I don't think we'll get the drop that this episode. But since it's been so long, I thought we'd go for a bit of a recap of what's happened in the past. We just won that game against Plymouth. Yeah, that's fine. We won against Preston 3-1 last time out. And 4-0 uh, against Sheffield United away at the start of the season. Here's how the league currently stands. Uh, we're in second behind Middlesbrough. But that's all, uh, with a game in hand. Um... As you can see there, the, the, the top sort of eight teams there are, are very much similar to what, they, what they're what they looking like in real life. Um, not Forest and as well. I don't think they're near it in real life. Oh, I could be... No, they are. I'm wrong. I think they are anyway. But the Championship's a great league this year. Very competitive, both in real life and on the game. Uh, we get a loan off a year from George Baez. I'm not really interested in letting him go. Um, I do want a bit more depth in the midfield and he'll be one of them players that can get a couple of starts in the uh, in the cup competitions uh, Birmingham away on the Friday night I actually went to this game in real life I um, went up to Birmingham to watch the nil-nil game uh, fun fact for you uh, as we get an offer for Nathan Dyer which we go into decline I'm going to try and keep Nathan Dyer in this series for as long as it goes on pretty much but um, as this Cutsy goes on. Uh, for back for you, every game I've been to Swans this season has uh, they've not scored a goal in. So I'm going to try and stay away as much as I can this season. I've been to um, it was uh, Birmingham away. There was another away game. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Uh, Notts Forest at home was one of them. Um, yeah, my mind's gone blank, but we haven't scored. It is about four or five games I've been to. So, we're up against Gary Monk in this game, uh, along with a couple of his players. Jukovic's up front is a real threat for me. He's a, he's a handful up there with Omar Bogle. But this is how our team is going to start. Dan James comes in and gets a start. Uh, Leroy Fair, Tom Carroll in the midfield. And we've got Narsing on the right-hand side who have been impressed with. Connor Roberts is, uh, is nailing his spot down at right-back there. Next to Van der Horn, Joe Roden and Martin Olsen. And as I stated, uh, that cup game, Nordver, um, 
Mulder. Even though I think Mulder is better in real life, I do prefer Nordvelt on this game. I will be looking to upgrade them maybe some point during this series, but um, for now, I'm happy with Nordvelt and how he uh, how he performs for me. So, good bit of pressure from us early on, and you can see De Guzman plays the ball through there. Dan James on his first start for us in the league. Dan James, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and it's just sent it high. It's not a good finish from the youngster. To be fair, he's a really raw talent, and I kind of accepted that by putting him in the team. You know, he's got pace, he's good at dribbling, but his final product isn't that good yet, but it'll come over time, and he shows lots of positives for me to, uh, f to allow me to put him into the starting team. So... We're building on from that 15th minute. As you can see, the ball comes over to Nassing. It's the first time cross. Ollie McBurney. Easy, easy header at the back post. He just peeled away from his defender. And it needed a good ball from Nassing to pick him out. And it definitely was that. As you can see, Leroy Fair plays it out to Nassing. It's a good pass from Fair into Nassing. And then, as you can see, he just peels away from his defender, who is a really tall defender. Uh, I can't think of his name just now. But you can see the height there. But because it's such a good ball, it doesn't matter. And McBurney gets his goal. Um... I, I've cut it out of this part, but I think it may be his third goal of the season. Um, and he, he'll be wanting to be a top scorer for us this season, and I will too. I really like McBurney, both on the game and in real life, so I'm hoping he does well. Birmingham Birmingham on the attack now. Uma Bogle, uh, it's a tame shot there, but we'll deal with that accordingly. Uh, Tom Carroll takes his throw in into Dan James. Dan James back to Martin Olsen. He'll play it back into Tom Carroll, who plays it into Leroy Fair. Ball comes back to Fair after an interception into Ollie McBurney. McBurney will take the shot, and he's went the wrong way of the goals there. I think I probably should have powered it into the um, to the far post, but we'll get a chance from the corner as the ball gets swung in here into Van der Horn. But Leroy Fair gets ahead to it, and I think it was the defender who tried heading it off the line. I'm not sure. Or I remember that. I'm not sure what Fair did with the celebration here. He what did a hug the defender because for some reason. Believe it or not, that went down as an own goal for the defender, but it was going in anyway, so I, I don't really get how it was given an own goal, as you could see from... Uh, maybe not be able to see from this angle. Uh, you can see Leroy Fair gets a good head to it. The defender just tries to clear off the line, doesn't manage to get enough power to it. Uh, this will be a better angle. That's not an own goal. He's not headed that in. It's just he's not really got enough contact on it, but we'll take it. We're 2-0 up. Uh, within 40 minutes. As you can see there, Oma Bogle gets another shot, which Nordvelt deals with. I did actually put the CPU sliders up after that point. Uh, good ball in this, by the way. And McBurney heads just in, straight in the middle of the goals. I think anywhere else that might have gone in. Um, but that's that at halftime. 2-0. Really good performance away at Birmingham. It will be a tricky team, uh, especially with Gary Monk there. Swan struggled in real life, so it's a good lead. We've got to hold on to this one now. Um... And yeah, I was saying something earlier. Oh, I turned the sliders up for the CPU as well. Because the, the shots just seemed really tame. So I put the speed of them up a bit. I put the accuracy of them up a bit. And hopefully they give us a bit more of a test uh, on our goals. But De Guzman here from kickoff. Uh, passes out to Leroy Fair. Out to Joel Asora, who I brought on at half time for Tom Carroll. Uh, Leroy Fair gets it out to Connor Roberts, who plays it back into Narsing. Narsing into De Guzman here. Gets it out wide to Olsen. Just being patient now. Um, which is how I like to play. A good turn there from De Guzman, who plays it into McBurney. McBurney to Asoro. Asoro will find De Guzman with a pass there. Again, just keeping it really nice and patient. And as you can see, Leo Fair gets a bit of space here into the box and a finesse into that top corner with 3 0. And that was directly from kickoff. Five in game minutes we managed to hold the ball for without giving it away. And managed to put it into the top of the co um, top of the corner, top of the net, into the top corner. Ball into Asora there. Defender gets dragged across, and Leroy Fair. It's a decent finish. Uh, not right in the corner, but it's a good enough finish. He's got enough power on it to put it past the keeper, and we go three 0 up within 50 minutes. Uh, I think the keeper actually got a tip there from looking at that replay. Yeah, really nice goal. It's one of the favourite goals I've scored so far this season. Just keeping the ball nicely. And we aim to do that a lot. Just keep patient, keep the ball, keep possession. Um, and I put the whole move in there. Just for you to see. If you don't want me to keep the whole move in there in the future, that's fine. I can do that. Che Adams gets released down this left-hand side. Connor Roberts with a, an early tackle. And the ball into Jota. And how about that for a first-time volley? It was a great finish into this bottom left corner. It takes a lot of skill to, to take the pace out of that ball. If you have a look at this year, Che Adams, he gets a good ball in. He beats Connor Roberts easily, but that's a great finish. You'll see from the next angle, I believe, the one from behind Jota. 
it's not exactly right in the corner. Maybe Nordwell should do a little bit better, but I think that's being picky. It's a great finish. I don't think you'd even have expected the striker to shoot there, uh, but it makes it a bit more of a game for us. As you can see here, though, 88th minute, we're just taking our time. Uh, just a bit of game management. The ball into the corner, Roberts here. He'll get the ball inside. No, you get the ball inside to Nathan Dyer. Back to Connor Roberts down his right hand side. It's 90th minute now, so game will be ending anytime soon. Get the ball back to De Guzman. De Guzman will take a shot and off the crossbar. How about that for a good strike from De Guzman? Um, that's what I brought him in for the team for the you know the attacking prowess he's got. He's so good at playing them neat through balls, and obviously good from distance as well. But we'll take that. 3-1 away at, uh, oh, I've been to the stadium and I can't even think of the name of it. If you know the name of the stadium, please put it in the comments for me below. But 3-1 away from home, you'll take that. It, unfortunate not to keep a clean sheet, but that Diego Yota goal was worthy of uh, worthy of conceding. We stand top of the pre uh, the Premier League, not in the Premier League anymore, got to get that in my head. Top of the Championship, um, Leeds could catch us, uh, but they'd have to score a lot of goals to do that. So that's how I'm going to end episode 3. The commentary may have been rough this episode as I go through the rest of the table. Um, apologies if so, I haven't done this in a while. But hopefully you did enjoy watching anyway. Um, and hopefully there'll be an episode food 4, food four, 4 to come out soon. See you all next time.